Hey guys, it's Jblade2000, and today I have a deck profile for you. Now, uh, this game is for a card fight Vanguard, and I'm doing kind of an Ancient Dragons deck. It's not really an uh, Ancient Dragons deck. It's not really an Ancient Dragons deck, because I have um, some cards that aren't Ancient Dragons in it, but I think the deck still works fine. You can still activate uh, Ancient Dragon abilities and stuff. But uh, some of the power doesn't come from Ancient Dragons, so I just call it my Blast from the Past deck. But uh, I'm kind of still working on the name. So, uh, this might be a little different than other Ancient Dragon decks. So, the start of course, which I think is the best starter for Ancient Dragons, is Ancient Dragon Baby Rex. He's a forerunner, so he can move around to the rear guard. And uh, his skill is Counter Blast 1. Uh, when he's put into the drop zone, and search for one copy of uh, Ancient Dragon Tyranno Legend, and put him on the rear guard. Now, I don't know if it's the same rear guard as Baby Rex or not. I I move them around, like call Baby Rex to the left rear guard. Um, I, I do that a lot, call him to the left rear guard, and then I use an ability to get him into the drop zone, and then I counter blast. Oh, I'm sorry, my hand was in the way. I uh, counter blast, and then I just put Tyranno Legend up in the right rear guard circle over here. So uh, the starter is Ancient Dragon Baby Rex. Then I run four Ancient Dragon Tyranno Legend. He's probably my favorite card in this deck. Here, let me move them so you can see them better. There you go. I'm sorry, my lighting is bad. So his ability is, he's uh, grade 3, his ability is you retire three cards with Ancient Dragon in the name, and then when it attacks a Vanguard, uh, he gains plus 10,000 and one critical. So, it has a very, very nice skill. Um, and also, he has another skill and a special counter blast. It's essentially Dragonic Overlord's ability. is you counter blast two Ancient Dragon cards in your damage zone, and then he gains plus 5,000 power. So it's kind of a Dragonic Overlord ability that he has. I run three of the Break Rider, because everyone has to run a Break Rider this year, because Break Rider is the new thing. Uh, Ancient Dragon Spinal Driver, his ability is when you ride a card on top of him, you retire two Ancient Dragon Rear Guards, you draw two cards, which is excellent, and then uh, you get plus 10,000 power and an extra critical. He also has the skill, you gain plus 2,000, yes, plus 2,000, uh, until the end of the battle if you have more rear guards than your opponent, which that's that's tricky to activate sometimes. And then I run two grade three searchers or grade grade three drive checks, which are Ravenous Dragon Battle Rex. His limit break is oops. Oh well. His limit break is uh, when you drive check a touch a cause a grade three retire a unit there you go uh, retire a unit and he gains plus ten thousand power and he also has a really nice skill that when he's boosted by a Tachikaze unit any Tachikaze unit he gains plus uh, three thousand I think it is yes plus three thousand so that's very nice he is awesome now I only have one copy of Ancient Dragon Beam Anklo, now moving on to grade 2. His skill is if there's an Ancient Dragon in the Vanguard Circle, uh, he gains plus 3,000 power, so he turns to 
an 11k attacker, which is nice, but only have one of him. I have two copies of Ancient Drag Cryola Fall. Crayola Fall. I'm still not sure how you pronounce it, but um, he is just your 10k. Uh, I've heard people call him beaters or vanillas or whatever. This guy is just your standard. 10k ones, which is weird, because if, if they made a 10k ones, they don't make make an 8k beater for Ancient Dragons, which I would have loved to see, because um, I, I don't run Sonic Noah. If I want to have 8,000 beater, I would have to run Sonic Noah, and uh, in this deck, it doesn't really work. I kind of tried it. So, I run 4... Ancient Dragon Dino Crowd because I like to use his skill with Baby Rex. I move Baby Rex to the right, the bottom right rear guard's uh, center uh, most of the time. And then I just ride him to Vanguard and use his skill to get rid of Baby Rex and then call in uh, Tyranno Legend. And his skill is. Uh, when this unit attacks, if you retire a card with Ancient Dragon in the card name, uh, he gains plus 5,000 power, which is really nice. If you think about it, I run two Launcher Mammoths, which is, is he's just a standard damage on Flipper. If you have Kigero and you have, um, I think it was Velocity Dragon or whatever was the damage on Flipper. Um, uh, oh, I'm thinking of Narukami's Demonic Dragon. What was that thing's name? I can't remember. But uh, when it attacks, if its attack is successful, you can unflip a damage. So that's nice. Uh, this guy, I run two Savage Archer. Here you go. I'm sorry. Two Savage Archer. His ability is uh, when you have a Tachikaze Vanguard with a Limit Break... Uh, he gains plus 3,000. So that's nice. When when I have um, any of my great threes in hand, I can just put him down and uh, hoping my opponent doesn't kill this guy right off the bat because of his ability, I can just use his ability on my next turn because I've ridden a grade three. Now on to grade ones. I run three... Uh, Gatlin Garros, which he has, he's the grade one version of Dino Crowd. Uh, you retire a card with um, Ancient Dragon in the name. He gains plus five thousand power. Now, one thing I've read is they only have the skills when attacking. So when I boost with him, he doesn't gain gain five thousand power when he boosts. Only when they attack which is something I've learned. Then I run... Oh, couldn't see it. Sorry. I run four Dragon Triplasmas because they're they're really nice. I, th I think the artwork on this guy is really cool. Uh, his skill, he's just the standard that uh, came out this year is if he attacks and there's an Ancient Dragon in the Vanguard, he gains plus 3,000, so he can turn into a 10k uh, beater. Which I've I like that skill. It's pretty good. Um, I run three Ancient Dragon Paraswall, and then I have an Arc Bird. These are just your standard perfect guards, which they were a pain to get, but once I got them, uh, I was really happy. I run two Iguana Gorgs. I wish I had more, but I only have two Iguana Gorgs. His ability is fan fantastic for this deck. His ability is when he hits the uh, drop zone from the rear guard you can counter blast and bring him back to the rear guard circle. So this guy is just amazing. So I really like it when I get him. It's kind of annoying when I have to ride him because you lose the card. So now on to trigger lineup. I run four Titanic Cargos draw trigger. I run two Black Cannon Tiger Criticals. I run five Criticals. Um, I have, whoops, other cards. I have 
four uh, dino dials and two black cannon tigers. Dino dial skill is you move him from soul, uh, from rear guard to the soul, and you unflip a damage. Uh, black cannon tiger skill is pretty useful. Is when he boosts an attack and it hits, you soul charge one and he returns to the deck. So now you have one more uh, critical trigger in your deck. So that is awesome. So I only run five critical triggers. And then, oops, I'm sorry. I'm not used to handling my cards like this. So I run four standard four heal triggers. Why wouldn't you? Uh, I have three Ornith Healers, but I'm planning to get my fourth right now. I'm just substituting Savage Shaman, so just your standard heal triggers. And then I run two Codanoids, uh Stand Trigger for Ancient Dragons. And uh, these are pretty good. I, I like to run at least one or two Stand Triggers in my decks, just because a lot of people hash on stand triggers and ignore stand triggers but when you think about it when you drive check it you get to stand up a unit and add plus 5,000 power to it so if your opponent's hand is really low and you stand up a unit and give it plus 5,000 power uh, they they don't have enough cards to guard that and boom you get another damage and so that gives you one damage to win the game or it could be uh, the winning damage. So, I think uh, stand triggers aren't uh, really important, but I'd like to use them in my deck. So that's just my style. So this has been Jblade 2000 um, Ancient Dragon deck. I hope you liked it. I'm I'm always trying new things. I'm trying to get better at playing the game. Um, I really like this deck. I've tested it out several times. Uh, I think it's a fantastic build the way it is. I am going to get one more Ornith Healer to make the complete set. So I can activate a bit more abilities. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Jblade2000 out.